Let's talk about cognitive dissonance theory. Cognitive dissonance theory, or CDT, is a theory that helps describe the feelings of dissonance that occur when a person's beliefs differ from their actions. The concept of cognitive dissonance as a human experience was first introduced to us by Leon Festinger, who suggested that we have an inner drive to hold our attitudes and beliefs in harmony and avoid disharmony. So before we dive into the theory, let's define the two terms behind it, cognition and dissonance. Cognition is a mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. Dissonance is the instance of inconsistency or disagreement. Festinger said humans have a tendency to rationalize their actions or change their attitude in order to alleviate their feelings of cognitive dissonance. Here's an example. On every box of cigarettes is a Surgeon General's warning. It states smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. This warning poses a question. Why would someone want to smoke? Influences such as, but not limited to, living environment, who we spend our time with, and our own desires can cause dissonance between our actions and what we know and believe. We know that smoking causes cancer, but we'll throw caution to the wind in order to relieve stress or to look cool among our friends. CDT contains three basic hypotheses that help us reduce the dissonance between our actions and attitudes. The first hypothesis, selective exposure. This hypothesis states that people have a tendency to avoid information that would create cognitive dissonance because it's incompatible with their current beliefs. This explains how some smokers can overlook the clear warning on a cigarette box. They simply ignore it. The second hypothesis is post-decision dissonance. According to Festinger, close call decisions can generate huge amounts of internal tension even after the decision has been made. The strong doubts experienced are what's defined as post-decision dissonance. These feelings of doubt can be felt by smokers who decide whether or not to stop smoking cold turkey. Post-decision dissonance is often tied to a need for reassurance. For a smoker who decides to quit smoking, they often need the help of at least a friend, a family member, or a romantic partner when they are experiencing the discomfort of withdrawal. The third and final hypothesis is minimal justification. Festinger believed that if one were to change their attitude, they must first change their behavior, and being offered an incentive will help to elicit this counter-attitudinal behavior. To help explain minimal justification and to better understand CDT, we look at the TV show Friends. In this clip, Rachel has decided to smoke with her co-workers with the possible incentive of doing better at work and tries to justify their decision when talking to Monica and Chandler. Totally took my opinions. You stink. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, I'm am serious. Well, well, that's just because I went down there and they were all smoking. This is actually the smell of success. <laughs> okay, there's something different. Though. Oh my God, you smoked. <gasps> I did not. Yes, you did. You like happy and sick. You smoked. <laughs> all right, fine, but I had to. I had to do it for my career. I wish I had smoked for my career. That's so gross. No, well, no, it's not that bad, you know? It's, I mean, yeah, my tongue feels a little fuzzy and these fingers sort of smell. I actually feel like I could throw up. Can you hear yourself? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I'm not myself. I, I'm just, I smoked like half a pack. I feel a little shaky and a little weird. Okay, but you gotta push past this, okay? Because it's about to get so good. Rachel attempts to rationalize her decision to smoke by saying the smell of cigarettes is the smell of success. Even though her actions made her feel weird, cognitive dissonance theory would argue that this discomfort is what motivated Rachel to change either her beliefs or actions in order to make the two match. Leon Festinger may not have proposed very rational methods in order to rid ourselves of our cognitive dissonance, but he has given us a theory that allows us to strive for harmony in our thoughts in our beliefs, and in our actions.